Spike's RT blog date, April 16, 2012. Now, we had a big storm of uh, media coverage uh, at some time this past couple weeks. Uh, first up, Adult Swim has their own series. Uh, check it out. That um, recently um, covered furries. Uh, their theme was actually animals, but they tied us into it. Uh, See, they, they are uh, broadcasting their episode um, yesterday, so so if you haven't if you haven't seen, I, I've seen the clip. It, it was yeah. Uh, this is hosted by uh, Steve Brule, and he was asking questions like, "How come you want to be an animal? Or what kind of animal do you want to be?" And it's it's more like a mock interview. So, so I wouldn't take this seriously. So um so yeah, check it out. It's not the best, but it's not a real interview. It's just somebody trying to get laughs, which didn't really get any laughs out of me. So yeah, go ahead. It's on Adult Swim, and uh, yeah, check out the clip. Uh, up next uh. A student film has been released called Furry. It is a 20-minute comedy that was produced at Ringling uh, College of Art and Design. And she has, um, uh, as far as her experience, she learned about uh, the furry fandom from her, um, her roommate, who has a tigress character. Or, that was her persona. And she loved to draw draw Sonic, and she investigated further and found that there was a, a negative reputation on the furries. So she went to Anthrocon 2010, and uh, she met a lot of furries on there. And so, so she made this uh, video, which you can see on Vimeo, and it's simply titled Furry. And it's, it's not that bad. Uh, go check it out. Um, then we head to Christchurch, uh, whose press released an article that I found disgusting. Now, this was supposed to be, uh, covering, uh, the lifestyle furry, but it is plastered with, with sexual stuff. And keeps, uh, putting in things like, uh, the, the interviewee was putting his paw on his knee and some some sickly stuff like that but um, it's on um, let's see let me see if I can get the uh, I'll actually post the uh, the link to the article in the uh, description down below but it is a disgusting article now why do I bring these up I mean I've seen articles from different stuff like I don't watch Fox News because they are so biased. They put up put up some crazy stuff on there. I don't go there. And usually, if I find anything that's there, I am just turned away from that particular site or or show whatever. All right, and last up. Uncle Kage has recently posted a video. Um, I already told you a couple weeks ago that Fernando's is going to close, but now he's um, calling on everyone to make donations to him. And there's going to be a a meet uh, right at Fernando's on their last day of business, which will be um, at the end of April. So uh, I'll post the link to to the video. So so you you can hear the words right from him but uh, he uh, Fernando wanted to last for another con however um, he is deeply in debt so uh, he will not be able to attend and my um, you haven't seen my roommate he's just um, come out um, <laughs> so so as I was saying um, so yeah, he was hoping to make it to um, one more summer, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. So they're going to meet up um, 
right at Fernando's on the uh, th um, the last day of their business and so that is uh, pretty much all I have to say once again I'll post the uh, the video in the link uh, below so you can so you can see what's going on all right that will do it for me spike that blogging out